It's early spring and I'm in Stuttgart, Germany, exploring the local parks. I'm checking three hollows where birds will soon nest, but I don't mind about doves and starlings. I'm here to see parrots. After four hours of searching, I head back to the hotel without having seen one single parrot. Plenty of other birds to see, but I came here for something else. A few years ago I've heard that Stuttgart had a small population of wild Amazon parrots. It all started with an article on city parrots, then I kept reading about these parrots on Facebook. Wilhelma Zoo lost some parrots 35 years ago and they started breeding in the park nearby. The following day I go to the park in the morning and I find some parrots. Most of them have yellow heads and red shoulders. They are yellow-headed Amazons, Amazona oratrix. In the beginning there were also two blue-fronted Amazons, Amazona estiva, so a few specimens today are hybrids between these two species. Here's an example of a blue-fronted Amazon hybrid. You can still see some blue above its beak and the bill is darker in color. Yellow-headed Amazons live in Central America, mostly in Mexico. Twenty years ago there were only seven thousands of them left in the wild, so the species is endangered. That's because people steal chicks from the nest and keep them as pets or sell them. After decades of illegal trade, 90% of the yellow-headed Amazons are gone from their native forests. But here in Germany the wild parrots are safe from poaching, at least most of them. A local man shot and killed a parrot a few years ago, then injured a second one, who was rescued and now lives in a sanctuary. The man has received a hefty fine. The most vulnerable here are young and naive Amazons. Some of them get killed by cars or by crashing into windows. Some predators also kill a few parrots, but most losses happen in the nest. Half of nesting attempts fail every year because the eggs don't hatch. But most of the chicks who do hatch make it to the fledging age, which happens in July-August. Here in Germany, Amazons nest in tree hollows 65 cm or deeper, situated high up in large plane trees. They feed on a variety of fruits, seeds, flower and leaf buds, shoots and even tree bark. Typical for Amazons, they eat poisonous seeds such as from the black locust tree. The parrots move on a large area in search of food, but they nest only in two public parks near Wilhelma Zoo. At dusk, they go to sleep at their favorite roost site in the center of the town, just a kilometer away from where they nest. This is a very busy and noisy urban area and I was not sure they will show up. They roost in plane trees, which I chose to observe from the other side of the road. Arriving in pairs or small groups, the parrots perch on their favorite branches to sleep. It's getting dark quickly and it's hard to get any decent footage of the parrots with my camera. Can you see two of them here? Despite the traffic noise and the city lights, the wild Amazons have been using this roost for many years. If it's working for them, why not? 
I came back again to see the parrots coming to roost in the evening and leaving in the morning. It's the first time I'm seeing the typical Amazon flight with wings stretched horizontally and rapid wing beats. To see this, you normally have to go to tropical Americas. Instead, I'm filming Amazon parrots in Germany in almost freezing temperatures. It's worth it though. Look at these Amazons. Not many people get to see them flying free like that. In fact, many locals don't realize they are there. I've been approached by locals both in the park and at the roost site. They didn't know they have wild Amazons in Stuttgart even though they pass under those trees every day. That, despite the noise parrots make. However, yellow-headed Amazons have their place in the local culture. I found a nice painting of an Amazon on a wall not far from the roost site. Local scientists at the Natural History Museum have conducted research into the lives of the Amazon parrots. Artists and parrot lovers take photos of all individuals and follow their adventures in adaptation to a new environment. All these people gave me valuable information about the parrots of Stuttgart and I am thankful for that. Now let's go back to the park and see some action. My attention is quickly grabbed by these two parrots. They are trying to secure a nest hole for this breeding season. The problem is that a couple of jackdaws really like this spot and they want it for themselves. It's a war. The parrots keep charging, but the jackdaws are very good at dodging the attacks. A very effective defense is just hiding in the tree hollow. The parrots don't take the flight inside the nest. Instead, they are trying to grab the jackdaw on a branch or just when it enters the nest hole. Right now, both jackdaws are inside the cavity. This hide-and-seek game must be very annoying to parrots. Jackdaws have an advantage. They are in the castle, so to speak. It's becoming boring for parrots, who begin to preen. And when nothing's happening, I keep filming despite the cold. Just to be ready for when the action begins again. After periods of apparent calm, the parrots resume their attack. They keep trying to grab the jackdaw while it's entering the nest. The jackdaw narrowly escapes but it can't be so lucky forever. The parrots charge from all positions and chase after the crows far from the nest. They are getting better at surprising the crows. And the crows are becoming sloppy. Or is it just the parrots being really keen on ending this fight? In any case, the inevitable happens. Just watch it. Boom! The Amazon grabs the jackdaw and pulls it off the tree. Notice the second jackdaw. It blocks its mate's access, so it gets caught by the parrot. Right after the attack, the parrots are in a very aggressive mood. People who keep Amazons as pets will recognize this behavior. The fan tail, the puffed head feathers, the strutting, the eye pinning. You wouldn't want to be near an Amazon when it's displaying like that. Not even if you are its mate. So you run to save your skin, literally. It's time for me to go too. I'll be back with more videos about parrots. Bye for now.